Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as it is hot. In case you have not joined our social media handle, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first book collector. Or I make we go down to the news proper as it is hot. It don't shell it for southeast. <laughs> Uh, the Johannes and the Bodon the Berg, the Berg, uh, Mansi Simon ever say, Oga, I beg, uh, make you calm down. We know say we ourselves, we don't do mistake, uh, but Oga be coming down uh, because the matter don't too much. <laughs> you know, say the time where uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile were issuing, issuing his words, um, many people thought it was a kind of joke or making jamborees, but the man showed that he is actually serious and he actually proved the point of what he was saying he made his point clear and proved it with action i think um a man uh, should be a man of action uh, on the side of the ohanes and Dibo, they have been so a long saying so a long time that um uh, very soon mazin and the canoe is going to be released and up until now nothing has happened i think what i'm seeing is that the synergy is not there togetherness is not there um the the hard work is not also there the passion is not there and also i can see that uh, the honest and Debo is lacking that uh, brotherliness and likeliness uh, that brings brotherhood together and makes things to work out easily because where there is peace there is prosperity and i will tell you pump and play with very clarity that what is happening in the southeastern part of nigeria is a, as a result of lack of peace and synergies among brothers uh, money and um uh, too much want greed has separated uh, once uh, uh, peaceful brothers who are very close to each other who are doing their things together and um that is why uh, everywhere you go you will you will hear things like Igbo Kweno, uh, because if you go to kaduna you will see the Igbo union how they are doing things uh, they will make one person to be a Igbo, and they will not even bother uh, what becomes of the man? They give him the honor, call him the Eze. Uh, but in this Gen Z generation, this recent generation, you find out that um, things have started changing uh, because of greed and want. Uh, you see that even in Lagos now, there are too many Ezendibos. You go to Kaduna, you see too many Ezendibos. Uh, you go to Abuja, you see everybody wants to become Ezendibo. But before, when Igbo was known as Igbo people, uh, Forget what they are saying that Igbo Enweze. Igbo Enweze, that comment means that every Igbo man hustles for himself. It does not depend on his brother to survive, but it does not mean that Igbo man does not pay homage to a king or Eze. But what Igbo man does is that he can he believes that he can become richer than his brother, not through uh, not by hook or crook, but by you know working hard. That was why those days, this, uh, these days, these things are not happening. That an, an Igbo man will take his brother, his brother will serve him after seven years, and after seven years, you see the man settling his brother. And when his brother is settled, he, will be, he might be settled with only a shop and few ca counter. Go to Alaba Market. Uh, I was in Alaba. I served one of my brother also before I went back to school. Uh, you go to Alaba Market, you see where somebody will serve his brother. After serving, they will just settle this little boy with maybe 200,000 with shop. Uh, his uh, ogre will put some goods inside there. He only he knows that whenever you come to his shop, he has all the goods. Because if you come and need 10,000 ton of goods, he will go to his master shop and collect, sell, take the gain, give his master the one that belongs to him. Peace will be there. Everybody is moving. But nowadays, my people, what is happening in Anibo now is what is called greediness. Uh, because if people have become greedy. And Ohanes and Nibo themselves, even the elderly elders who are supposed to be uh, guiding the young people, telling them uh, this is the way, uh, this is how to do it. Uh, these people are even failing to understand uh, what this leadership is all about. They are now paving a wrong way which the ancestors of Ndibo the elders of Ndibo, Ndibo Bobo did not pay. Because uh, only Bobo will tell you that um, no Iloma ke Juna Jaganogu. Onyaka, there is this song uh, that Ike Mazale sang, but that, that song is a proverb. Onye nye ziozi, onye je patan juna. Nye wese anya bluzu roa raji. 
na ro anju na anju na ya gbalo sole oku o weje blues o ro banju na anju na ya gbalo sole oku na bo oku bulu gine bulu inu ma bulu oku that's a proverb that's how igbo people live their life the igbo people we know though there are still good people in igbo land the people who i know uh, that we still do what it takes to bring uh, to reality what their people has been craving for uh, but as it stands now uh, the people that are top there i don't even know what they are up to because of pocket I mean, why uh, let's go down to what is currently happening now happening now southeast economic and security summit another topic uh, this one is on southeast economic and security summit and uh, you need to hear this information please don't touch the dial uh, still stay there this is still your one and only your purpose and your favorite let's go down to that uh, southeast economic and security summit that has uh, come and gone so that you will see uh, from the beginning to the end the summary of it uh, you don't need to touch that dial because uh, for me i think you need all information to know what is happening around you the southeast economic and security summit has come and gone organized under the auspices of the southeast governors forum and held in Owere imo state from september 28 to 28 to 29 2023 the theme was Southeast Beyond 2023, time for a reset. The summit attracted several political leaders and allies from the geopolitical zone, including Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang, the President General of Hanes and Dimo, all the governors from the region, Charles Chokoma Soludo of Anambra State, Hope Uzodema of Imo, Alex Oti of Abia, Peter Mba of Enugu, and Francis Mwifru of Ebony State, who was represented by his deputy, Patricia Obila, several past and serving senators, including Uche Ekunife, Director General of Southeast Governors Forum, traditional rulers and leading members of the clergy also attend the occasion. While there were nuanced differences on the focus of the various presentations at the summit, most dwell on the need for unity and concerted action among the leaders of the zone. For instance, Dr. Okonji Wala. Director General of the World Trade Organization, in her keynote speech delivered via an online video, blamed the underdevelopment of the region primarily to the fact that Igbo elites undermine one another rather than working in concert. She was quoted as saying, Our biggest challenge in the Southeast is ourselves. We have often been our own worst enemies. We have allowed ourselves to be divided. We argue that an individual can be good. But not better than, but more better than when we come together as a body. It will be presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the February 2023 election. In his message aired on the second day of the summit, re echoed the need for unity, saying, It is very necessary that as a people we come together and put our heads together to find a lasting solution to the problems of the insecurity in our homeland. Patricia Obila, the Deputy Governor of Ebony State, who represented Governor Francis Obonnawi through tax mothers in the region to take a special responsibility in curbing the insecurity in the region, pointing out that most of the vices that transmute into criminality were first acquired in homes. The host, Governor, Governor Hope Uzadema, suggested that all the existing Igbo groups should dissolve into the honest and Igbo worldwide. The Governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba, called for the use of a non-kinetic approach in dealing with the wave of insecurity in geopolitical zone and the setting up of a common market that will be a center that will grow the economy of the region. The Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, suggested engaging the youth with a view to locating the source of their anger. He also emphasized the need to fight the spate of drug abuse in the region. Governor Chukoma Soludo of Anambra State charged Southeast indigenous not to wait for all the problems to be solved by the governors before they can come to invest in the zone, adding that if they don't stop seeing only gloom and doom, this place will be a desolate homeland. Former Senate President and Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Anyan Pius Anyan, called for a rethink of the Biafra agitation and strategies for dealing with the insecurity in the region. He believed that a robust engagement with the agitators could generate lasting solution to the insecurity playing the zone. Noting that the circumstances that led to the civil war in the 1967 appeared not to be the same thing as that 
current agitators are doing. Here are several observations from the summit. One of the idea, the lead of the leaders of the Southeast geopolitical zone coming together in a summit is commendable on its own. However, beyond rhetoric, we also be the need to march words with actions. For instance, we have had the Southeast Economic Summit for some years now, with the seventh edition held via Zoom on December 15, 2022. Some people may wonder what has been the deliverables from the summit beyond the declaration of the noble intention. Similarly, it may not be out of place to pose the question of what has become of the Ebubak Joint Security Outfit set up after a similar summit in the 2021 to combat insecurity in the region. Two, some of the observations and recommendations at the summit deserve deeper interrogations. For instance, nearly all the speakers allowed the non-unity among the leaders of the geopolitical zone. For the notion of non-unity among Igbo elites is only one part of the duality of Igbo personality. The truth is that the Igbo is simultaneously com communitarian and individualistic. For instance, an Igbo person is more likely to be more strongly attached to his or her town unions and the community-driven project. There are members of other ethnic groups in the country. Igbos normally unite around values, not around personality, which sometimes give the wrong impression of lack of unity. Igbos rarely, rarely, rarely rally around individuals, unless they espouse values that resonate with them, unlike the Hausa, Fulanese, and the Yoruba to a less extent, primarily because they did not pass through the feudal stage of development and therefore were never habituated to uncritical obedience to a centralized authority. For these reasons, unless they espouse values that resonate with them, attitude towards heroes or centralized authority structure tend to be transactional and highly individualized. If you are not their benefactor, do not expect any sustained hero worship. Understanding this duality in Igbo personality is necessary when thinking of appropriate strategies for mobilizing them. It is precisely the individualistic component of the duality of Igbo personality that will make Governor Ozademar's suggestion for all pan Igbo cultural groups to collapse into a and Igbo difficult to implement because the average Igbo person does not see his governor or even traditional ruler as a sort of deity or oracle who can tell them what is best for them. It is also the reason why Governor Mba's recommendation for a common market will be impracticable. The various towns already have their own local market, so how will such a centralized market benefit them, they will ask. There are very import important things in the summit what is the urge for the Igbo outside Igbo land to come and invest in their region. Akurolo philosophy. This has been a recurring theme in the various Southeast economic summit. The truth is that there are cultural factors that predispose the Igbo to be more diaspora oriented than most other ethnic groups in the country. Why, for most other ethnic groups, charity begins at home for Igbo present scenes. My people, when I don't see as it happen, uh, if this is your first time of coming across our, can our wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first we will collect. And thank you for listening. God bless you.